This ant is currently being controlled by a zombie-like fungus. Meet Ophiocordyceps unilateralis. This fungus is so aggressive, it hijacks the ant's body, rewires it, and uses it like a remote-controlled car just to complete its own terrifying life cycle. It starts small. A microscopic spore lands on the ant's exoskeleton. It doesn't just sit there, it drills in. The fungus releases digestive enzymes that break through the ant's outer shell, invading its body like a silent intruder. Inside, it spreads, growing through the ant's organs, muscles, even its nervous system. But it's not killing the ant. Not yet. It wants the ant alive and obedient. Then, something changes. The ant abandons its colony. It begins to climb, moving upward through the undergrowth like it's being guided. In reality, it is. The fungus has begun issuing commands, turning muscles on and off, redirecting movement. The ant climbs to a very specific height, around 25 centimeters above the forest floor. Why? Because that's where temperature, light, and humidity are perfect for fungal growth. The ant stops. Then, its mandibles clamp down on a leaf or twig in what scientists call the death grip. The ant can't release. Its muscles lock. It's stuck. And within hours, it dies. But the fungus is still alive. And now it uses the corpse as its launch pad. Over the next few days, a stalk begins to grow from the back of the ant's head. This is the fruiting body and it's packed with spores. When it's ready, it erupts, spraying fungal spores across the forest floor below, waiting to land on another unsuspecting ant. One infected body becomes the weapon to infect dozens more. Colonies have learned to fight back. When they spot an infected ant, they'll isolate it, drag it away, even kill it to stop the spread. But the fungus still wins. And if that wasn't disturbing enough, it has its own enemy. A second fungus exists, one that infects this fungus. A parasite of a parasite. Nature never stops being weird. Subscribe to Trivia Drip for more!